we're finally getting ready to say bon voyage to Hurricane Aaron, and I truthfully anticipate within the next 24, if not 36 hours at the most, this system won't even be called a hurricane anymore. We have really started to see the change from your more bonafide tropical feature, which is generally warm derived. Basically, it means it thrives off of heat and only has heat around that center of low pressure. We're starting to see influence from a mixed bag of different air masses, different qualities of air coming off of Canada and the United States, wrapping back around the western and southern halves of the storm right up into the vortex. This is now weakened down to a category one and continues to unravel and expand, really taking on the appearance more of what you'd see during the winter time as cold fronts come across the eastern United States, but dropping some snow up north. Not saying that Aaron's producing snow at all, but it's starting to look a little bit more non-tropical thanks to a little bit of interaction between the jet stream and some of the air back over the United States as opposed to the warm tropical waters with which it first developed. So finally... Aaron is going to be going away. I know, again, I've mentioned this in several previous updates. I'm ready to move on. And it does look like we're going to be moving on here very soon, as a matter of fact. I think Fairnan could be hitting the game board as early as tomorrow, if not Sunday at the very latest. You look at the latest outlook from National Hurricane Center. Our two areas investigation, 90 and 99L out there in the Atlantic Basin. 90L, just as we talked yesterday, if you met with me for your latest tropical update here in the Digital Weather Center, I'd mentioned, especially those two-day chances, going from 40%, we're going to rapidly tick up over the next day or two. Now you can see we are sitting comfortably at an 80% shot. This takes on at least tropical depression status within the next 48 hours. And to tell you the truth, looking at the National Hurricane Center's narrative, they seem ready to pull the trigger once this feature can get its act a little bit more together. It's looking a little stretched out, kind of like a piece of Laffy Taffy or a rubber band or a resistance band used at the gym. It's kind of stretched a bit north to south. So I think they're waiting on it to tighten up a little bit, and that's when they might pull the trigger on designating in this as TD number six. I also want to make sure we're keeping an eye out on 99L. You can see the formation chances have kind of evolved in an interesting fashion. Not only did we go up to 50% chance over the next seven days, but if you look at that actual orange cone there, it's not the cone forecast by any means. It's not a projected window of movement, but I want to say we went from a small orange blip like this, which means in National Hurricane Center language, we could see a named storm develop anywhere in that small pocket. Now they've extended it much more generously off towards the west, closer to the windward and leeward islands of the Lesser Antilles, which means National Hurricane Center is trying to tell us there's a bit of a higher shot that as it continues off towards the west, walking through the tropics, getting closer to the eastern Caribbean, it just might have a shot of consolidating into a tropical depression after all. Let's take you on over for a closer look at 90L, though, the one that does seem a bit more favored by our computer models. You can see it is a little stretched out. We've got broad counterclockwise rotation, but the turning and the winds are there. There is an area of low pressure trying to develop, and I do think we still have have a good run-in at seeing TD number six, if not Tropical Storm Fair Non, before we start the next work week next Monday. Thankfully, though, there's going to be some noise, as always. During the hurricane season, people tend to get excited when there's development out there. We're going to keep it real with you here at News 6. You can count on our weather team to get you all the accurate information you need to make the right decisions. This one's actually forecast to curve even faster than Aaron did, so no close shaves here in this case. Our friends and our neighbors down to our south and east in the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, through the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos, we won't even really feel anything from this, let alone us here in central Florida or up the east coast of the United States. Bermuda, however, can't forget about y'all. We do have an island out there. You might be in for some sporty weather action, depending on how quickly or how slowly this manifests into our next tropical system. And the main reason I want to continue to kind of harp on or hammer on 99L is even though it's looking a little sloppier today, the dry air right behind it is finally starting to catch up and diminish some of the thunderstorms that it's managed to cling on to for the last several days. To tell you the truth, that's another interesting trend I want to let you in on. Computer models thought this would be gone 
36 hours ago, if not this time on Wednesday, and today is now Friday, Friday, August 22nd. All of our computer models said this would have petered off, and it's still hanging out out there. So as this continues to traverse the main development region of the deep tropical Atlantic out there and push into the eastern Caribbean, it'll be very interesting to monitor over this weekend and into early next whether or not that signature holds together because National Hurricane Center does also advise while conditions are a bit more unfavorable currently, as it moves westward, it's going to find a bit of a better pocket to try to maybe fire back up again.